Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. I am Jenna, if this is your first time here, I'm Jenna, I'm a mama to six little boys, and we grew our family a little bit faster than normal through adoption, and so we have had to learn how to do a lot of things with a larger than average family. Now I always knew that someday I wanted to have a bigger family. It was just a desire that I have had since I was a little girl. I always wanted to be a mom and I wanted to stay home and just have lots of babies. And I never dreamed it would happen quite this fast. But anyways, because I always knew I wanted to do this, I would always keep my eyes open to little, um, little interesting tidbits, you know, things I could store away so that someday those little bits of information might help me if I did end up with this kind of family. And I remember reading years ago, after the tragedy of 9-11, um, I read in People magazine about a mom who had, I want to say like five or six little boys, um, and she, if I recall correctly, she had actually been pregnant when um, her husband passed away in the 9-11 tragedy. And she was sharing things throughout this article about how she was managing and how people had helped her. And one of the things was a really practical tip that stuck with me. And it has helped me. I've implemented it here and I thought it might help you guys too. So she was talking about socks. Um, she was talking about managing socks because sometimes it really is, and I understand her more now, um, sometimes it really is the little things that can just drive you crazy. <laughs> and so, um, you know, so matching socks, wasting time matching socks and finding socks and um, getting them to keep socks on their feet can be so hard. So, so one of the things that helped us is what she said. We buy all um, we buy all the same kind of socks, and so we don't buy like colored socks or socks that have to be matched. We buy the packs like these um, where they're all gray and white, or sometimes I'll buy the packs that are all black. And you can see like this is a different brand. This is from our last round of socks I bought, but really my kids could pull these two socks out and put them on and I don't think anybody is going to be like oh their socks don't match like nobody's going to notice that across the room you know um, and if they do I guess I don't care anyway but so that's what I always look for and it can be really hard now because some of my favorite brands of socks have quit making packs where they all match now you have to buy them where they're multicolored. but um, these ones I just got are Wonder Nation brand from Walmart I'll see if I can find a link to them for you. Um, I'm trying these and so far they do seem to be better. And then the other great part about having them all be the same is you can just keep them in a bin. This is our old bin and this is in the bench in our entryway. And so we don't let them put socks in their room because they will get lost and I'll find them under the bed and everything else. Even though we have wood floors and I think it's cold sometimes, they do not like to wear socks around the house. And if they come in the house with socks, they will end up with them off their feet, under the couch, under the bed, whatever. I find them hidden all over the house if that happens. We keep them in the entryway and then when we get ready to go somewhere, they can come right to the entryway with bare feet. And then they can get socks out and put them on right when they get their shoes on. And when they come home and they take their shoes off, they can take their socks off and tuck them back in their shoes to wear again. Or if they're still clean, they can go back in the bin. Or if they're really dirty, they can go right in the laundry. So it saves a lot of time that way. We're not hunting all over for them. The other thing we do is we fit as many kids as we can into the same size. And so right now, I got these. Um, everybody can wear these in our house except they're a little tight on my six-year-old and they're um, too big for the seven-month-old and so everybody except the baby and the oldest can wear this size my oldest has his own sack so now when I find those I know who to blame <laughs> and the baby has a different size but other than that all of the boys can wear the same size so there's no fighting over who's or who's and trying to sort out sizes so I hope that helps if socks are driving you crazy. If you're just looking for practical tips on how to survive with your hands full, this is what I'm all about. So you can join me here. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook as Married to the Farm. And if you found this valuable, you can hit like below and that would really help get this video out in front of more people who might benefit from tips like this. So I really do appreciate it guys. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything we have going on here. Thanks again for stopping by.